I'm a Vice President and Compliance Consultant. I am Vice President of Global Strategic Alliances. I'm a Director of Human Resources. I am a Director of Marketing Management. I'm a Division President. I wanted to have a program that would focus on the high potential achievement oriented women in an organization who, with support and with the right tools, would have opportunities to really move in the corporation. Initially, Jean had the idea of helping women break through the glass ceiling. Uh, but more than that, she really wanted to help women become more effective because she realized that the only way you get the guys to patch you the ball was to show them that you could play in the game. We've chosen Women Unlimited in several companies that I've worked for because of the breadth and the depth of the development that it offers. And we do see better leaders as a result. We had sessions on communications. They went from the very basic of how do you give a good handshake to the tips of how is a woman perceived by a board of men when she talks? So how to make sure we handle our voice and our actions. We had sessions on conflict management and resolution. They took us from being tactical managers to really being strategic leaders. This program offers experiential learning it offers the ability to build a wide network in many industries on many levels and it offers true leadership skill building. Women Unlimited is an organization that focuses on teaching you skill sets that can help you in the business but I think more importantly they untap some innate resources that you have that have not been allowed to grow. Women Unlimited is a day spa for your career. It's a place where you can step out of your day-to-day -day work environment and focus on your personal development as well as your professional development to really gain skills to be an effective leader. Women Unlimited is so successful because we are unique. Um, we create an environment that is safe where women can learn about themselves, and at the end, impact business results. So although it is a very introspective personal program, it affects the organizations by bringing people back to it that are working at a higher level. And that truly is the best it gets. Welcome to the Spring 2003 Women Unlimited LEAD program. Over the course of the year, from the first day that I meet them, the main thing that I see is a building of self-confidence. Women exude confidence after this program, confidence that's been within them all the time, but it, it just comes out in every aspect, personally and professionally. I'd like to congratulate all of you for being selected to participate in this program. Every one of our sessions is designed to support something that all of us at Women Unlimited recognize are the pieces of business that they need to really understand better. When I attended my first class, I had just reached the junior vice president level, was in a position where I thought the experiences I had were unique and very confused about how to be comfortable in my own skin. I was absolutely amazed at the similar experiences that other women in the room had had. And I knew from that day forward that the year was gonna be fantastic. Our program is a leadership development program, so the competencies that we select to focus on are those competencies that we see as being critical for women to transition effectively into leadership roles. Leadership begins with you. I mean, we, we say that, we reiterate it. Leadership begins with you, and it begins with you knowing who you are. It begins with you really taking a look at what are you good at? What are you not so good at? What do you need to get better at? And not just from your perspective. I mean, it's okay that you may think you know. Um, but from a 360 perspective, reaching out, getting other people 
to give you input. In every single workshop throughout the year-long program, we did some type of assessment tool. So it helped us to better understand who we were and what our leadership skills were. So let me just ask a question. Who are the real detail-oriented people in this room? What is your style and how are you able to interact with somebody whose style is completely different than yours? Well, my reaction is to act emotional about it and to immediately tell the person how I'm feeling. If you're really going to be an effective leader, you have to step back on a regular basis and take a look down here from up here. What's going on? What needs to be done? And you can't be thinking clearly if you're busy doing. I learned that career growth is one thing, but career growth can only be achieved when you have your own personal growth as well. I learned to begin to define success for myself. And it doesn't look the same for every person. And once I did that, the confidence just came. One of the greatest strengths a leader has, in my opinion, is the ability to create strategic alliances. How many of you like, think networking is just like a horrible thing to do? It's not what you know. It's who knows you know. You've got to look for opportunities to demonstrate your competence. If you look at really good leaders, you'll see they have a network of alliances. They don't even have to speak for themselves anymore. Everybody else is doing it for them. Women Unlimited is an opportunity for women to get together, women who would never meet in their lifetime, women from different organizations who do different jobs in those organizations, who are at different stages in their career in those organizations, to come together once a month for a year. We put a group of women in a team that we call a peer team. These women work together on their development. Their focus is on helping each other in their development needs, holding each other accountable to ensure that they do what they say they're going to do. And their charter is to focus on the development goals of the women in the team. The opportunity to have external mentors as well as peer mentors was a tremendous value. It added a perspective that a mentor back at my company couldn't really offer me. I was one of the biggest skeptics about having a mentor. I didn't think anyone could tell me anything. But I had uh, an amazing mentor, and it was, it was a life-altering experience meeting my mentor. Well, we're going to ask you every day, every time you're here, to do something with what you learned. Now, it's not a big thing, so it's not more work. We hold the women accountable for what they and their management say they'd like to achieve during the course of the program. And they can't escape us. We believe wholeheartedly that true development um, comes through partnership. And it's partnering with the organization as well as the manager to ensure that the women are on track, that they're getting the feedback from their manager about what they're doing well, what things they need to do differently, so they can achieve the development in the areas that are important to their organization. Woman Unlimited gives your staff the realization that they're capable of doing anything. The change that I've seen in the past year has been a different person. She, her level is so much energized now. I'm looking over my shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> Yvonne has been a real asset to us and uh, her growth has been phenomenal over the last year. She understands how to play a little bit nicer in the sandbox as I call it. <laughs> the nature of this program um, and what it's instilled in her will be long lasting. Women Unlimited actually began in New York City on April 18, 1994. We had 18 participants. They were from seven companies. Today, 10 years later, we have over 3,000 graduates of the program. We have over 150 major corporations across the United States participating and supporting these programs. We say at Women Unlimited that we do not bring 
information to the participants. We help bring it out of the participant. You get out of it what you invest in it, and that's the key. But it also doesn't stop at the end at the graduation. The relationships that you develop, they go well beyond that. It does change your life.